Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Hoffman, and today I'm here to talk to you about a project that I spent many years working on and introduce you to some of the really cool technology that I was able to develop as a result of working on that project. So about five years ago, I started talking to several of my friends who ran popular YouTube animation channels. And from those channels and those conversations, I learned that it was becoming increasingly hard for animators to make content for YouTube. Now this was happening for a number of reasons, but it largely boiled down to the fact that YouTube had introduced anti-spam measures. Some of these anti-spam measures were giving the best paying ads to videos that were over 10 minutes in duration, and rewarding creators that uploaded more frequently by causing their videos to appear higher in search results. In addition to this, YouTube simply didn't offer any animation specific features like even the ability to filter videos by animation type. So as a result of this, animators were getting paid less because they had to have 10 minute or greater duration videos. They weren't appearing high in search engines because they couldn't upload very frequently. Now this is all due to the fact that animators often spend six months to a year just to create like a three or four minute animation if they're doing it frame by frame. So my hypothesis here was that if I could build a video hosting and discovery website that was deeply focused on the user experience and feature set that animators and animation fans wanted, then these animators could make use of that website in order to get discovered and monetize their content in a way that just wasn't possible on YouTube. So I started building an MVP, a minimum viable product, of this website, which eventually I called Animate. And the MVP had a couple of features. It had accounts, comments, and the ability to post and share videos. We also had some placeholders. Well, I had some placeholders at the time for subscriptions, donations, search functionality, and other things I thought might be useful to animators and animation fans. And I showed this MVP, I took the MVP to some of my friends and I showed them it and I started getting feedback. And a lot of them had very positive feedback to give in regards to this MVP. And some of them actually wanted to join me and help me build this website for animators and for animation fans that filled some of the gaps in where other platforms weren't able to really meet the expectations of these artists. So my role in this project was as the chief software architect. So I was responsible for designing, coding, and scaling the majority of features within Animate. I also handled most of the paperwork for running Animate and ran our Kanban work tracking board. So over the course of about five years, we built out some really cool features for this project. And many of those features that I'm most proud of, I wanted to showcase today, hopefully so that you can draw inspiration from this and you can even use some of these ideas in any projects that you may come up with and decide to build in the future on your own time. Thanks for watching and let's get into it. I wanted upload to be very simple on Animate. Any user can click upload, be redirected to a page where they can agree to rules, terms of service, enter their name to confirm they've read, and continue to our three part one page upload form. Now, from a technology perspective, I knew there would be peaks where multiple people were uploading at once. In order to handle that, each server has a queue, and that queue accepts a video based on the server's computing capacity. When the server accepts a video for processing, it runs it through FFmpeg, an open source video transcoding software, and converts it to a very web-friendly and uh, very appropriately sized MP4 for streaming. Now after uploading, discovery was the next most important thing. An animator uploads a video clip, how do you find it? Well the easiest way that we found was to offer a number of filters. We offered new filters and old filters, we also offered highest rated filters, but it turned out users really wanted a filter that was the combination of two filters. So we created a trending filter that algorithmically combined the highest quality filter and the newest filter. So it gave a boost to new videos that were released very recently combined with the quality that those videos received based on votes from the users. And after tweaking this algorithm for a while, we ended up with a really good filter 
for the default tab on the front page of Animate that allowed new users to be discovered even if they didn't have an existing following audience and allowed existing users to have their animation seen as long as their animations were of very high quality. So this allowed new animators to easily break into the front page if their animations were good. We realized that a secondary way of finding new animations was going to be really important and that secondary method was going to be search. Normally if you go to YouTube you do a search what you find is a bunch of videos that are relevant because the video title or description somehow matches the search query that you put in. We wanted to go a little bit deeper than that. Since we were building a website specifically for animators, we wanted to allow users that are searching to be able to sort by things like the genre of the animation, the style of the animation, the type of the animation, for example, CGI animations versus 2D animations, should all appear differently in the eyes of the search engine. So how do we do that? Well, one method that we realized we could do is we could build a very advanced search engine that's capable of understanding videos by taking a single frame out of a video and running some type of AI analysis throughout the frame to determine what it is. But that's really an overcomplicated method of accomplishing what we wanted. So as I was thinking about this problem, I realized that we could just crowdsource all of this metadata to the users and reward the users through some type of in-app reward if they categorize the videos for us. And once you have a large number of users categorizing videos, the accuracy is actually quite good. So at the end of each video, a user is asked to fill out a random survey that helps the search engine become a little bit more relevant, and the user gets XP as a reward for helping us improve the quality of our search. The XP system in Animate turned out to be a very popular feature. It's a simple feature that allows us to reward users for doing particular actions in the app that are beneficial for the app's health. So, for example, we wanted people to share their animations on Twitter so that the Twitter audience could be exposed to Animate. We incentivized our users by giving them some XP whenever they shared a video on Twitter directly from within the app. That XP was translated into levels by a simple algorithm and those levels were displayed on a user's profile. We found that there was a small group of users that were very competitive in trying to accomplish all the in-app rewards like rating videos or sharing on Twitter in order to get the highest amount of XP since it was kind of a visual indicator of their dedication to the app. The next feature in Animate that I'm really proud of coming up with is actually very simple. A lot of applications make use of web forms to allow users to share data with the server. While in Animate, I was thinking about how other websites do this and I realized that the user experience is not very good when you have to submit a form and wait for the server to send a response, reload the page in order to get data back in regards to, oh, did you fill out this form correctly? So inside of Animate, I built a JavaScript function that attached to forms and this JavaScript function would be passed a regex. And based on this regular expression, it would evaluate each time you typed or deleted a character if whatever you typed was uh, correct based on the regular expression. So if you put in an incorrect password on sign up, for example, you'd know far before you submitted the form. And this turned out to be very helpful and I think really streamlined the user experience in a lot of parts of the application by preventing you from having to do unnecessary page reloads or wait for a response from the server. When we started working on this project, we recognized that a lot of other video distribution and hosting websites have very toxic users that post on video comments and that interact within the application. We decided as a team that we think that's a very negative part of other applications like YouTube, for example, or Twitter, the fact that there's so much toxicity. So we decided as part of our, part of our user experience, we would try to integrate things throughout the UI that just incentivize users to be positive and to leave constructive feedback. Whenever a user goes to create a comment, they'll realize that the placeholder is very a very positive message. Likewise, there's GIFs scattered throughout the entire application. These GIFs were created by Eric. Uh, you may know him as Hewn or Hewn's Dojo. Those are the two YouTube channels he runs. And these, these GIFs help to kind of give the user an idea of what's going on in the application and generally are designed to 
uh, have a positive mood associated with them in order to keep the user who's browsing Animate in a mindset where they can think, oh, I need to leave constructive feedback and this is a place where I should be kind to the other people who are posting content, especially considering this website is designed for animators who come at very many skill levels and we didn't want to scare away the new animators who have just picked it up as a hobby or a potential career. The final cool feature that I wanted to showcase is a bot that every single day decides a video of the day. So this is a singular high quality video that's been uploaded recently. Now this bot will take this video and it will share it to both Twitter and Discord. And simply by sharing a video every single day at the same time, we were able to garner quite a bit of traffic from other platforms and find animation fans in places off our platform and bring them to our platform. So in conclusion, Animate has been a really fun project to build over the years and it's been a really great sink for my creative energy. Throughout the process of building Animate, throughout the process of architecting and coding all those complex features, my skill set as a developer was able to improve significantly. I met a lot of really cool and interesting friends along the way. And I hope you, by watching this video, are able to just gain some insight into some of the things that I'm really proud of building and that my team put together in response to the problems that we were trying to solve. And maybe when you go on to build your own projects in the future, you can gain inspiration from this video and apply some of the, the cool solutions that we found to novel problems in your own projects as well. So, as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more cool upcoming videos. Bye.